happy accident. 2023, Christmas Eve. What did I get? Here's a hint. It ain't Godzilla. Ah! But it is from Super 7. <laughs> I'm your host, Happy Accident. Show us your toy. Every Christmas Eve in my family, we all got to choose one present to open. So tonight, I'm choosing this one. Let's welcome in tonight's special guests. Snowbud or Shatterclaw by Moose, Father Christmas Tree. Did an unboxing and review for this one if you're interested. Gizmo, Real Toys, NECA. Check out Giz and more Gremlins in my 2022 Happy Christmas video. Awesome 64 Impala, Hot Wheels, Redline Club, Mattel. Star Wars Black Series, Salacious B. Crumb. You can find him and the rest of that set in this video. All right, unbox and festively review all six in that 2023 set. And check out my holidays playlist if you're feeling festive. If you have a Hot Wheels bug, I can recommend getting into that Redline Club for a little bit, checking it out and getting a few cars. I think in the year I was with the club, I got three cars. All right, let's open this Christmas Eve present. Power up. Good to snow. Yeah, that's right, little holiday kitty. I got this one at BigBedToyStore.com. Of course, I know what's in this one, and it's present time here at the Driftwood Lodge. Hey, stay for the happy ending. And uh, if you like my content, hit that like button. Really help me out. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let's tear it up. This one's been sitting in my unboxed collection for quite some time now, and I'm super stoked to get this puppy open. Y'all as excited as I am. This one's gonna get a chance to be in my twin. Oh, it's Biolante! There it is! Boom! Yeah! Super 7. I know how you feel about Super 7. <laughs> Let's get him open. It's a big old box. Yeah! He is a little scary, huh, Holiday Cat? Oh man, yes. Unbox it! Finally. Oh man, I've been waiting a long time for this. So, Biolante here is a. Uh, one of my favorite Godzilla monsters. Number two uh, on my list. Uh, Hedra is number one. Hedora. Hedora. He is standing at eight and a half inches tall. Okay, first impressions. When I pulled him out the plastic Three. tray, he was very light. This is very hollow. Uh, I, You know, I, the Joes and the Power Rangers, the Ultimates, they're also light. So it, it's in league with that. I suppose I was just hoping for some more. Wait. I mean, when you when it's in the box and you're feeling it, it's like, damn, this is a heavy boy. But you get him out and it's like light as a feather. <laughs> the sculpting is really good here. The colors are vibrant. No dry brush on the core body saddens me. Wicked teeth. The head is nice. Articulation. Okay, let's see what we got. So the Venus flytrap hands have a jaw that's on a hinge. Each hand is on a little ball, very limited range of motion. Uh, its main head is on a single ball, uh, and then the leaves back here also on a ball. And then we've got four vine arms, and they're not segmented. They just plug in, and they are on a, on a bald hinge. I am sorry, though, Biolante. Not winning the Articulated Points of Emotion Award. E emotion? <laughs> the head is nice and heavy, though. I'd buy that for a dollar. Includes a variant head sculpt with the open mouth. He's got these two fully articulated, torn hand nubbins uh, that you can have Godzilla, you know, ripping his <laughs> hands off if you want in a dio or something or some photographs. All right, let's get into the Heisei Godzilla. This is also Super 7. And this is uh, the Godzilla versus Biolante version, which comes with the following accessories. The variant head, which is very, very nice. And he's got the Biolante vine wrap that goes around his neck so he can get choked. Uh, the, this is cool. There's a hand with a hole in it. Um, and you can have Violante's vines piercing that hand, so you could do some cool uh, combat display. And four other variant hands, really nice claws and uh, closed fists. Dimensions-wise, we're looking at another 8.5 tall and 15 inches from hand to tail. Impressive. Articulation. Godzilla here is basically a segmented statue. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, I've got some SH Figure Arts Monster Arts that, that have so many points of articulation, and you think that they'd kill it too, and they just don't. It's just, they're just so big and chunky. A couple quick comparisons here. So we've got the Red Laser Reaction G.I. Joe 
by Super 7. That's uh, 3.75. And we've got Screwhead Gobots Tonka Bandai. He's also a little bud. So you can see there, it's 8.5. There's a shot of uh, Screwhead transformed. And uh, Biolante's getting him some. Okay, happy thoughts. I have happy thoughts. Uh, I've, I've got some sad thoughts. I really was thinking I'd get more articulation out of Biolante. And I'm not sure how I feel about the lack of paint on like 90% of this thing. The translucent area in his abdomen, they should have put a light in that. For this price and for the lack of articulation and the hollowness, put a light in it, man. At the end of the vine, they look good together. They look great together. I'm still in on this collection. My expectations are set for Super 7, and I'm okay with that. All right, we've done it. We've reached a happy ending. <laughs>